Who doesn't like a brownie a la mode? Creamy, intense, warm, with a good vanilla ice cream, whipped cream and hot chocolate sauce. But the brownie can be more versatile than we imagine. It can be part of an elegant dessert, an incredible cake, or even an unforgettable cupcake. Today we'll see how to make the perfect brownie. Hi, I'm Carlos Salgado. Contrary to popular belief, the brownie was not created by mistake. It's an American classic, and it was requested by the Palmer Hotel in Chicago during the World's Columbian Exposition in 1893. After that time, several recipes were published, but the original remained intact and is available to anyone who visits the hotel and wants to enjoy that brownie with walnuts an apricot glaze. The recipe that we'll see today is based in the original from the Palmer Hotel. Additionally, we'll see a very good trick to achieve the perfect texture and how to go a little further using the brownie as base and start of wonderful creations. Let's get started! Preheat the oven to 390 Fahrenheit. This recipe is for a 13 by 18 inches tray. Add a sheet of parchment paper to this tray. Melt 400 grams of dark chocolate and 400 grams of butter in the microwave or a double boiler. Just let it melt without overheating. Sift 160 grams of flour. Mix 6 eggs at room temperature with 360 grams of sugar. Mix until everything is well integrated. Don't mix too much. Add 1 tablespoon of vanilla extract and 2 tablespoons of espresso. Mix well. Incorporate the flour. And finally, the mixture of chocolate and butter. Pour into the tray and spread out well. Add some chocolate chips to the surface. Bake at 390 Fahrenheit for 20 to 24 minutes. Just remember this, it's better to do it by hand than in a mixer. To make a very good brownie, you just need to combine all the ingredients very well. Before removing the brownie from the oven, prepare a tray with ice and a little water, or what is also known as cold bain-marie. Remove the tray from the oven and immediately place it on the one containing the cold bain-marie. Do this to stop immediately the cooking process so the brownie will retain its moisture. The result, a smooth, creamy brownie that melts on the palate. If you prefer a fluffier brownie instead, just add one teaspoon of baking powder to the sifted flour. You can also add walnuts or almonds. To cut it easily, it's better if you chill it first and then cut it. The brownie can be frozen, as it has a high concentration of fat, once it's defrosted, it will regain its creamy texture. Cut it into squares, and here you have an ultra delicious brownie. For the classic brownie a la mode, you can make this easy and quick recipe for a chocolate syrup. 50 grams of cocoa powder, 50 grams of dark chocolate, 150 grams of powdered sugar, 200 grams of water, and one tablespoon of espresso. Heat the water and dissolve the cocoa powder. Add the chocolate, the sugar and the coffee.
Bring to a boil and let it reduce for about 5 minutes over low heat. It can be used instantly or it can be refrigerated and reheated later. You can also use a side of whipped cream or chantilly. For details of this recipe, visit the 12 creams tutorial. The link is in the description of this video. Heat the brownie a little, just a few seconds in the oven or the microwave. Serve on a plate, in a crystal glass or a cup with a very good vanilla ice cream. For a delicious brownie cake or individual dessert, prepare half of the recipe of brownie. Pour it into a circular cake pan of 9 inches and bake for about 15 to 20 minutes at 390 Fahrenheit. Do the same procedure to the cold bain marie when removing from the oven. After that, refrigerate. The next step, make this quick and delicious chocolate chantilly. 70 grams of dark chocolate and 240 grams of heavy cream. Melt the chocolate and reserve until it gets room temperature. Whip the heavy cream a little. When it gets a little volume, mix a small portion with the melted chocolate. Once the texture is similar to the whipped cream, combine all and whip. Then proceed to remove the brownie cake from the fridge and with the help of a pastry bag and a plain tip, make a spiral. Then prepare a vanilla whipped cream. Remember to visit the creams tutorials, the links in the description of this video. Make the design that you like the most. You could add some chocolate sprinkles or cocoa powder. You could also make a recipe for a chocolate cremant. More details in the 12 creams tutorial. With the help of a pastry bag, we can make a very simple design with whipped cream and red berries. You could also make delicious individual desserts like these brownie fingers. And now you will see how to make some amazing cupcakes with vanilla buttercream and dip in chocolate. To make about 12 cupcakes, you just need to make half of the brownie recipe. Pour into the paper baskets about 3 quarters high. Bake for about 15 to 18 minutes at 390 Fahrenheit. Remove from the oven and cool immediately in a cold bain marie. Then refrigerate. Prepare a vanilla buttercream with an Italian meringue base. 4 whites or 150 grams, 350 grams of sugar, 150 grams of water, 450 grams of butter at room temperature, 1 tablespoon of lemon juice, 1 pinch of salt, and 1 tablespoon of vanilla essence. Bring the water with half of the sugar to a boil. Meanwhile, in the bowl of the mixer, add the whites, the lemon juice, and the salt and proceed to be. Add the other half of the sugar in three parts. Some peaks should start to appear. When the syrup reaches 240 Fahrenheit, remove quickly and proceed to add very carefully to the whites. Whip until it reaches room temperature. Then add the vanilla essence and the butter in three parts. Once ready, proceed to decorate the cupcakes. Use a star tip with few peaks so that they stand out once they get the chocolate glaze on. Freeze them for at least two hours. Make the chocolate glaze. Melt 180 grams of dark chocolate and add 2 tablespoons of coconut oil. Mm -hmm. 
Reserve until it's at room temperature. Remove the cupcakes from the freezer and quickly proceed to glaze them with the chocolate. It will immediately solidify. Let them reach room temperature before consuming. I hope these ideas will inspire you. I assure you that if you make this recipe following all the suggestions and tips, you will get a perfect brownie. Remember that all these videos have a version in English, Spanish and Portuguese. If you enjoy my content, please give a like. And if you want to continue assisting more pastry lessons, please subscribe. Thanks for joining me and see you soon.